Hello. See, there's nothing. 
Yeah, welcome to Glow Music. And today's worship, uh, our divine mandate as a ministry is to preach God's word to the lost through God-inspired music, edify believers through scripturally sound music, raise and deploy seasoned ministers of God in music through service. Your being here is not by chance, but carefully orchestrated by God for your spiritual growth and development into an active believer in kingdom service. As you fellowship and serve with us at Grow Music, God will meet your every need and godly desire according to his word in Psalm 37 verse 4. Let's share a word of prayer. King of kings, we give you all the glory and praise for the opportunity to gather in your presence one more time to go through this time of worship. Come, take total control, spirit of the living God, lead us. Have your way in our midst. In Jesus' mighty name, have we prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. 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 Today is one hour um, worship, one hour time of God in worship, and uh, we'll go through a short study, and then we get into worship. Today, the 4th of June. Psalm 63, verse 1 to 8. Psalm 63, verse 1 to 8. O God, thou art my God, early will I seek thee. My soul testeth for thee, my flesh longeth for thee, in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see thy power, so as I have seen in the sanctuary, because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Thus I will bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I remember thee upon my bed and meditate on thee in the night watches, because thou hast been my help, therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. Amen. Amen. So this, um, written by the psalmist, um, you see... From one verse to the next, one verse to the next, you see him talking about um, explaining why it is important for him to seek the law, the presence of God. Let's just take a few lessons from this. Number one, God is with us. We learn from this uh, portion of scripture that God is with us. Psalm 63 verse 1 to 8, God is, is with us. The presence and power of God is not limited to the auditorium. We can experience God wherever we are. So here he's saying that early will I seek thee, my soul tested for thee, my flesh longed for thee, where? In a dry and thirsty land. Longing for God in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. So you'd wonder that where was the psalmist at this time? But um, we may not know. But we can tell from this that it was not uh, in the temple. Because in the verse 2, he says, To see thy power and thy glory, so as I have seen in the sanctuary. So, Lord, as I have seen your power and your glory in the temple, this place where I am, where no water is, in this dry land, it could be a time of war where probably he was fleeing from, uh, he had fled from the palace, but it was somewhere on the outskirts, 
I mean, and then he's crying unto God that I'm seeking you and I want to see your power and your glory. This place where I am, just like I saw in the temple. Hallelujah. Say after me that God is with me. God is with and me. And I can experience God wherever I am. I can experience, I can experience God, God wherever, wherever I am. Some people believe that unless you climb a mountain before you experience God, because they know probably of the temple mount, uh, they know uh, Moses went up the mountain to have an encounter with God. And uh, so in their mind, I can only experience God if I climb Mount Afaja or I climb Atria or I climb a certain mountain. So you ask yourself that, so in a situation at the workplace where you need the hand of God, do you have to leave everything and escape to a mountain before you can experience God? No. Jesus said that, he told the, uh, the woman by the world, he told them, we know the God that we serve. By the time is coming that true worshipers uh, will worship in spirit and in truth, it won't be about go and worship this God on this mountain or on that mountain. But wherever God is in spirit and in truth, you have an encounter with him. Hallelujah. Amen. My prayer is that you experience God wherever you are, the fullness of his presence in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, lesson two, God makes the difference. The presence of God brings satisfaction to our souls. Satisfaction to our souls because why? He made us. We learned from Psalm 100 verse 4 the other time. He made us know we ourselves. We are the sheep of his pasture. God made us, and like any manufacturer will put in a program, that will connect that vehicle or that item back to the manufacturer. There's an emptiness in our souls that only our manufacturer, that's God, only his presence can fill. No, ma no matter what you do, you can have, marry as many wives as you want to marry, like uh, Solomon did. You can have so many girlfriends they cannot satisfy that emptiness in your soul. You can use cocaine. It won't satisfy that emptiness in your soul. You can set for titles, become a politician, a political leader. It won't satisfy that emptiness in your soul. You say after me, only the presence of God can satisfy. Only the, the presence, presence of God, God can satisfy. satisfy. Hallelujah. Amen. God makes the difference. Amen. Amen. That is why the psalmist added that portion that your loving kindness is better than life. Say after me, your loving kindness. Your loving kindness is better than life. Is better than life. Someone will say that if there's life, there's hope. But life without God's loving kindness is hopelessness. It is his loving kindness, which is even better. His loving kindness preserves our life. And that's why he says that your loving kindness. He says, the scripture says that by his mercies, we are not consumed. And he's faithful to it. Great is thy faithfulness. It's because of God's mercies, his promises concerning us. That is why we have hope. And so God is the one that makes the difference. Point three, God is always with us. And this is our last point. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 makes this clear when Jesus said that I'm always, always with you. I'm with you all the way. There's a portion of scripture where we learn to that he's working with us. He's working together with us. We are not alone. There are times that we feel that God is no longer around, but we must look closer in detail and discern his handiwork. Amen. So we see in Psalm 63 verse 8, My soul followeth hard after thee, thy right hand upholdeth me. The things that God does in our lives. Lord, your right hand upholds me. In the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. Your wings means that you protect me. Your wings are a shadow over my life, protecting me from the enemy. 
My soul shall be satisfied as with marrow and fatness. My mouth will, shall praise thee with joyful lips. Why? Your loving kindness is better than life. If it wasn't for God, you may not even, you, you won't be alive to even talk. Whatever happened in the night, his right hand was upholding you. Uh, uh, we know from Psalm 91, he said, you know, uh, uh, hit your feet against the stone. Because he will cause his angels to hold you up. For you to be alive every single day, God did something. Say after me, for me to be alive every single day. For me to be, be alive, alive every, every single, single day. God did something. God, God did something. It didn't just happen. It didn't just happen. God did something. God did something. Hallelujah. Amen. Always remember this. If I'm alive today, God did something. It didn't just happen. And this is why early we must seek the Lord. We must seek the Lord. A portion of scripture tells us that seek the Lord while he may be found. Early, we must seek the Lord on daily basis, seeking him before we start our day. And at the beginning of the week, that's why we are here to worship. Seeking the Lord at the beginning of the week in the, his presence. In the midst of worshiping his glory. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Wherever you are, kindly lift up your voice and begin to thank the Lord for his presence in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Before we go into the songs with lyrics, we are led to sing the song. Let's just go through briefly to, as a starter, and then we move into the other song.
Father, I pray two prayers before we continue to sing. First, you are praying that, Lord, in any way that I've been anxious, I've set you aside and I chose to be worried and anxious. Whether you are worrying about a program, you are worrying about a salary, you are worrying about a spouse, you are worrying about family, your kids, whatever it is that you are worrying about. But you are praying that, Lord, forgive me. Cleanse me with the blood of Christ Jesus. Today I, I sing, I sing in faith, lifting you, you up, knowing that you settled every single issue in the name of Jesus because you have told me not to be anxious. So I pray right now, I ask for forgiveness. Cleanse me with the blood of Christ Jesus. And number two, you're also praying that, Lord, as I sing, receive my worship. Receive my worship, Lord. Receive my worship. Please lead us as we sing as the dear panted for.
you magnify the name of the Lord. Remember that you have to sing with understanding. Sing every single word with understanding. Sing ye praises with understanding. That's what the scriptures command us to do. Fix your mind on the Lord as you magnify his name. Focusing on every single word with understanding. Longing 
Revelations of your power and might. In your presence I can bring love song offering. I'm in the presence of my King. In your presence, in your Your power and might in your presence I can bring my love song offering. I'm in the presence of my King. One more time in your presence, oh. So we sing our last song, Don't Bury My Jesus. We sing together. Don't. 
Lord, we thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. amen. Shall, we share the, um, shall we have the announcements and then lead us to share the grace? It's a joy to fellowship together at Glow Music. All those who are here for the first time and those who have not had the privilege to be around for some time, we say welcome. Our mandate as a ministry demands that we propagate God's word through music recordings and distribution, music outreach projects, and the raising and deploying of seasoned music ministers to service. We admonish you to participate in all activities so as to play your role in fulfilling this mandate so that God also plays his role as a doing God in your life. Amen. Amen. Therefore, encounter, join us on Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays from 12 p.m to 12.30 p.m. for Bethel Encounter and watch God do wonders in your life. Amen. Amen. On Sundays, as always, we have one hour personal worship at 6 p.m. As you lift Jesus up, the glorification of your life is ensured. Amen. Continue to share your testimonies and prayer requests through the links that are shared on the pages and always attend meetings with expectations and the Lord will meet your needs according to his will. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen. Remember to pray for Glow Music and the leadership every day. As you wake up, pray for Glow Music and the leadership every day. The Lord to continue to embrace us, to be a blessing to the world. Amen. Amen. Download scripturally sound gospel music from glowmusicrecords.com 
to edify your soul, to edify your spirit, share with family and friends to be a blessing to them. Also remember to share the flyers and podcasts from the pages to your statuses for others to be blessed. Amen. Amen. If you'd like to send your offerings, tithes, and covenant seeds, you can send them using MTN Mobile Money 054-362-7478. 54 362-7478. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And we share the grace. The grace of our, our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ the love of God, and the, the fellowship, fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now forevermore. forevermore.